Hello everybody, this is Alex from Rundeck. I wanted to give you a little demo about Ansible and Rundeck integration. We're getting lots of users from Ansible that are looking for a way of putting a user interface on it, and uh, Rundeck's a great tool for that. So I was going to show you a, different, a few different ways for how you can call things in Ansible. Um, I've got a few jobs here. One's called Run Module, Run Playbook, and Run Script. I'll just walk through each of these really quickly. Um, below it uh, are a set of plugins, which I'll talk about how you can get. Uh, but first, let's just see it in action. All right, so here we have a job, and it calls this step called Ansible Playbook. You can see it's going to run this playbook right here that I put on my computer. It's pretty simple. All it does is it calls the ping task to all the hosts that Rundeck passes to it. Now, this job is set up to run on nodes that match this pattern. I've got a few VMs here and uh, you can see it's matching two of them. So this is what uh, Rundeck is going to uh, pass into the playbook call. Let's just go ahead and run it. And you can see for um, any anybody familiar with Ansible, the kind of output that you would see normally. Um, now you might be asking where does Rundeck get the information about these nodes? Um, well, here we have the nodes, the ones that are being used uh, with that playbook are right here, and a number of facts, as you can see, that Ansible has also collected about those nodes. So that's another plugin at play, which takes the Ansible inventory and turns it into a Rundeck uh, model source. So this is really nice. Um, I can use any of this uh, set of attributes to create job filters or maybe I'd even use some of these values in the automation that I'm building uh, either in the playbook or in other tools that uh, I want to maybe run commands or scripts against that use this uh, Ansible inventory data. So let's just go back and take a look at that, that job here. Um, here you can see is the step we call this a, a step plugin that calls the Ansible playbook. Uh, really, it's just trying to provide an interface to running that playbook. And you probably recognize uh, various things here, extra variables you might want to pass. Maybe you want to get something from the vault uh, password, possibly. Um, you can see here that you can store secrets in the run that key store and then pass those along into the call to the playbook. So a lot of other options here, as you can see, different ways of connecting um, via SSH and maybe privilege escalation. These are all not necessary, depending on your use case. Uh, the one I just uh, showed you was pretty much just a call to that ping playbook. Um, so besides that step, there's also ways that you can just call a module directly. So maybe you don't have a whole playbook, you just want to do that kind of thing. Um, one thing that's fairly interesting, I think, is that you can also execute an arbitrary script via Ansible as well. So um, there's another key integration point here that's happening, and that's called a node executor. So the way you talk to a node is through a plugin called a node executor, and that's what knows how to connect to the machine and tell it to do something. And here we're using Ansible's SSH support as that uh, mechanism to do the node execution. And just for fun, uh, we wanted to prove that you could actually pass it a script file to run, uh, which you can do. So um, to a Rundeck user, what's nice about this is it's just kind of like uh, a normal uh, Rundeck environment, except that you're using an underlying tool to do something. And, uh, you know, various kinds of output. Um, of course, the, the ability to run an ad hoc uh, through Ansible and then the output that that little script file generated. So um, a natural way to use Rundeck uh, that also shows off that you can get some of that um, log correlation that people find is a good audit trail in, in Rundeck. So what does it take to tie Rundeck and Ansible together? It's pretty simple really. Um, there's this great uh, community project here, Rundeck Ansible plugin. It's actually uh, a release that includes all of those plugins that I, I talked about. And I'll just kind of step through here. Um, first of all, I was mentioning the, 
the node executor. This is how we can execute ad hoc commands and scripts. Um, the ability to call the playbook or the module, uh, those show up here. And then finally, how does it get inventory data? And that's uh, that shows up here. So to install it, really all you need to do is come over here to the releases uh, folder in GitHub, uh, download the plugin jar. You copy that to your R deck base libxt. That's your plugins directory for any run deck plugin. And you should see them show up in this listing as well as in the file editor. Um, and you can create your own job and uh, pick which one of those makes uh, the most sense for you. Uh, here they are in your Ansible uh, set of plugins. And we look forward to hearing uh, your feedback about uh, Rundeck and, and Ansible integration. Let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thank you very much.